What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Tony Ferguson on the 2015 Clocks and Cup preview. Um, as we get the Boston Blades taking on the Toronto Furies on one side of the bracket, and the Montreal Stars taking on the Calgary Inferno. Uh, the Blades are the number one seed, but everyone seems to be all about the Inferno, and um, they're the one team I didn't see play this year. Like I was was not in Boston when they when they played the Blades. Humble brag, I was in San Diego. Um, but going a step further, I like the Blades' chances. Obviously, I've seen them play you know a number of times. Uh, you know, talk about the the Blades coming on the show and owning shirts and stuff like that. But the bottom line is just a great hockey team. Uh, you know, they've got depth up front. They got some really great offensive talent. If Hillary Knight's back in the lineup, um, you know, I, I think they're unbeatable. But you know, I think um, you know, having you know Brianna Decker just come in. I told her point blank, I'm like, what are you what are you doing offensively? Like, how do you put up these numbers? These are video game numbers. I mean, like, your average game is like you know what I do in NHL 15. You know, when I play as the Bruins against the junior team, it's, it's really pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, going a step further, there's, there's plenty of depth there. And, uh, you know, having the, the number of U.S. Olympians there makes it, um, you know, a, definitely a, a tough matchup for, for anyone. Um, but, you know, you look at what Toronto's done. Megan Bozick's a hell of a hockey player, another U.S. Olympian. Um, you know, her offense from the back end is, is huge. And, uh, you know, they're going to need to contain... You know their attack to uh, to win that series. I think they're going to sweep it two nothing. I think it's going to be they're going to get an easy road to the championship um, game. Not easy, but you catch my drift. And then for the other side, I got Montreal pulling the upset on uh, on Calgary. You know I think everyone's talking about the the Inferno, but I think Montreal's got a little bit of a better team um, and can can definitely pull off that upset. And uh, you know Boston versus Montreal for for a championship in hockey. I mean we see this all the time in the NHL and uh, you know. Especially last spring, didn't go the way any of us wanted it to. Especially, you know, someone like me that, you know, may or may not have put a few dollars on the Bruins winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, but, you know, I, I think the Blazers are going to win it. I mean, you know, it's title town USA, whatever way you crack it. I mean, you'll get the, the amazing run sports teams that Boston have had. You know, even the Blades won it two years ago, lost in the championship game last year. I think they're going to add, you know, another uh, championship trophy to the amazing mantle that the city of Boston and New England has on the whole. I mean, it's it's really just one of those things. And then, I mean, to be honest, I think the pressure of playing in Boston, um, you know, you got to deliver. And whether it's, you know, the the Blades or one of the bigger, you know, the New England Patriots, uh, you know, you got to step up and deliver when it counts most. And uh, I think they'll do that. So, you know, it would be pretty cool to see, uh, you know, Clarkson Cup champions, um, you know, winning the uh, people that, women that own power play with CJ shirts winning the Clarkson Cup. That would be pretty uh pretty awesome and you know you think about all that the the power play is done with with shirts i mean a couple of guys playing that'll likely be in the memorial cup this year power play with cj shirts and uh you know i think um you know that's obviously a fantastic thing and the clock cup ushl we can forget uh sam Kirker and uh jason Salvaggio rocking the shirts on the ice so again i think the long line of people that own power play with cj T-shirts winning championships will continue, and uh, the Blades will win the uh, Clarkson Cup for 2015. I actually wanted to go up, but I decided if I was going to cover women's hockey in the month of March, I might as well take the power play in a continent and go to Sweden. More about that in the next 24 days. So, anyway, that's all. This episode of the power play with CJ on the uh, Clarkson Cup preview. Stay tuned for episode of the season and beyond. Later, guys.